What's up everybody, my name is Matt, and today I'm going to show you my top five ways to use automation in Serato Studio. Automation is a way to adjust the sample or sound within a sequence and have it play back that same way each and every time. You can automate things like filters, volume, effects, etc, etc. So the first thing I want to show you today is how to automate reverb on a snare. If you open up Serato Studio, you want to make sure you've got your drum kit loaded up and maybe you've got a sequence already made. So I'm going to click on the snare here and I'm going to use the light tail reverb from Serato FX. That's how it sounds. But I don't want it to play through the whole sequence. I just want it to play on the last snare of the four bar sequence. So let's keep it off. Let's listen to the sequence. And now I want to turn it on just there. So instead of having to press that button every time, I'm going to use automation to turn that reverb on, just on the last snare. To open up the automation, you need to click on this little robot here, which is the automation robot. And when you click on that, it'll give you a bunch of parameters that you can now automate. Now, the easy thing that I like to do is just click on the effect that I want to uh, automate. So in this case, it's light tail reverb. I've got the snare clicked here, and I just click on the effect. Now, I'm going to keep it off but I'm going to go to the bars three and four within the sequence and I'm going to get onto the snare that I want and I'm just going to turn it up right there. And I want to leave it on so that the reverb tail rings on. And you can see that I've got the snare here. There's a little purple dot next to it and you can see the automation is on there for effects three, which is that slot right there. So now let's listen to it in the sequence. sounds great. Now if I put it in the sequence, you'll hear it leads nicely into the verse. So here we are in the sequence. If I play the sequence, we'll hear the effect and leading into the verse. Perfect. Number two on my top five automation tips is adjusting the pitch on a hi-hat. So if we go to the chorus, I'm gonna solo the drums in the chorus right here, get out of automation and then click the S and we've just got the drums playing now. Now I just want to automate these hi-hats here. So I'm going to click on the automation robot again. I'm going to click on the hi-hat, which is a thing I want to adjust. And then if I click on key shift, you'll see here I can now adjust this parameter from the menu for these hi-hats. And I just want to use the hi-hats on uh, bars three and four. And I want to make these trill hi-hats pitch down. So you can see as I'm hovering over there, I can just pitch them down. Now you can see I've got these grids, this grid mode here, but if I prefer, I can reset that and I can actually use the line automation. So this one, if you just click there and then click another one there, you can bring down the automation like that. And this will now pitch down the automation like so. And so simple as that, I can now click out of the automation and unsolo those drums and let's hear how it sounds in the sequence. Maybe I want to do it on these uh, on bars seven and eight as well. So I'll just click on the automation guy again, make sure that I'm using the key shift and it's highlighted there. And I'll do the same thing again. I'll just pitch it down like so. You can see the pitch there. Number three 
Number three on my top five tips for automation in Serato Studio is automating a mute for a drum kit. So to do that, click on the automation robot. Make sure you've selected the gold chains the whole drum kit by having that purple dot right there and not on one of the individual sounds. And then from the drop down menu, choose the mute option. This is literally just going to turn off the drums whenever we tell it to. So we're going to turn off the drums for the first two beats or turn on the mute, which will silence the drums. And that will sound like this. So number four on my top five tips for automation in Serato Studio, we're going to use the exact same sequence, except we're going to put the breaker effect on the sample. So let's click on the sample here. Let's make sure that we've added the breaker effect from the Serato effects onto number three uh, effect slot on the sample. And then let's click on the automation robot. Make sure we can just click on the breaker here and we're just going to turn it on for the first two beats of the sequence like so, and that will sound like this. So it gives it that nice tape stop effect that's so popular in modern music. If we listen to that in the context of the song, it's going to sound like this. So number five on my top five tips for using automation in Serato Studio is automating a filter. And this is probably the most common use of automation that I can think of. For this, we're going to automate the filter to come in at the beginning of the song. So we're going to select the sample that we want to affect. We're going to select the automation. And we're going to make sure that we click filter here. Set a point on the filter at the very beginning and bring it all the way down. And then at the end, Make sure that we're using the line view as opposed to the bar view. And then at the end, the sequence of bars seven to eight, we're going to set another point to go back to zero or as close to it as you can. Let's hear how that sounds in the sequence. And in the context of the whole song, So there you have it. That's my top five tips for using automation in Serato Studio. Hopefully that's been helpful and inspiring. Automation is a great way to spice up your productions and make them sound a bit more polished and professional. I'll be back with more tips very soon. So please like and subscribe the video and uh, we'll be catching you very soon. Peace.